hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this video we are going to look at j editor pen and how to display html page in the j editor pen so in the picture here you are seeing we are displaying a html table inside a j editor pen when we display the html the j editor pen renders the html content here in this uh, example you are seeing a html table which is rendered inside the j editor pen this video explains j editor pen how to hook j editor pen with uh, just j scroll pen then how do we display html page by using the html url so we use the method set page in this uh, video so this is the optional playlist watching this playlist will help you uh, understand swing in easy way however it is optional to you this very first video in this video series shows how to create a jframe window all our other example in this video series uses this uh, uh, already created jframe window So, J editor pan is the object we will create first. Next, we will create a J scroll pan, and to the J scroll pan constructor, we will pass the J editor pan. So, this will be our second step. Then, we will set the vertical scroll bar. So, we will make a call to set vertical scroll bar policy then we will say we want to display the vertical scroll bar always so this will be our j i mean the j frame inside the j frame we will display j editor pan since html document will be bigger so a html document can grow bigger with the image and other content so yeah html document can be a bigger one which cannot be accommodated inside this j frame that's why we hook it to j scroll pen and we will ask to have horizontal scroll bar always and if you need you can put the i mean we will ask for vertical scroll bar here in this example you can opt for horizontal scroll bar also so this will make viewing the other part of the document so if you want to see something here you have to scroll horizontally and if you want to see this portion of a document you have to scroll vertically in this example we are going to show how to enable vertical scrolling next we make a call to set preferred size let's say this is our j frame here this will be our j editor i mean the j editor pen so let's say the frame size is width 500 and height 300 the editor pan size here let's say 480 and this one will be some 270 or 280 so that means here the j editor pan is occupying 80 percent approximately 80 percent of the j frame so using the set preferred size we can actually change this say for example once again this is our j frame so we can display the j editor pan like this also html content will be displayed inside this so definitely this will not be 80 percent let's say this will be 45 percent there are a lot of a free area here you can place some other controls in the j frame so this is j frame and this one is j editor pen 
all right so for a set preferred size we can specify width and height of the uh, scrolling area so once you specify the scrolling area in terms of width and size the editor pan will be shrinked and only portion of that uh, pan will be shown so here you are actually setting the scrolling area size using the set preferred size but the inside the scrolling area i mean the inside the j scroll pan we are displaying the j editor pan so here we can construct new dimension we can specify width and height so width and height in the sense you can specify say for example 480 280 even though the um, size of the frame is 500 cross 300 you can specify a different preferred size for the j editor pan so this will set up our j editor pan with a scroll bar enabled and once everything is ready you can actually add this so this will be the third step we will be setting the scroll bar policy after that we will set the preferred size then we will give it to the content pan so the content pan we will get from the j frame then we will make a call to add method and we will add our j scroll pan to the content pan so now everything is ready uh, now we have to set the html content to this j editor pan so that will be a simple function call to the j editor pan we will make a call to add page so here you will construct a url object and we will pass that so this url will point to the html so you can pass a web address or you can pass a html from your local file system also so it all depends on how you construct the url object all right now we will go to eclipse demo okay here i am opening uh, eclipse oxygen so this piece of code are explained in the very first video creating the jframe in which video we will change the set bounds that means we will change the width and height of the frame window let me run it once so this is the uh, j frame size for this example so as explained in the slide first we create a j editor pan from java x dot swing package so first we are importing the required package and you can see here java x dot swing dot j editor pen after creating the editor pan we are setting it to true if you need you can set it to false when you set the j editor pan to false i mean the enabled to property to false uh, user cannot edit the html content here i kept it as a true so it's just a demo so i kept it as a true now we will set the scroll pan for this uh, j editor pan so first we create a j scroll pan and for the j scroll pan we pass the instance of j editor pan jep that we are passing it here this means we are telling the j scroll pan that we want the scrolling capability for the j editor pan 
so importing the jscroll pan from javax.swing package next we create dimension object so this is to set the preferred size for our uh, scrolling area and if you see this dimension object is from java.awt package so that's why when you use the swing it is not that you will always use a uh, hundred percent swing component so there are a lot of class instance we use from java.awt here is one example here we are using the uh, dimension object from awt and if you see the eventing systems will come from java.awt all right after creating the dimension we set the preferred size scroll size which we created as a dimension that we are passing it to the j the scroll pan so now scroll pan knows uh, the visible area of the j editor so the j editor which exceeds this preferred dimension uh, is still available through scrolling so that this is just scroll pen right so you have to set the scrolling option here i'm just uh, setting only the uh, vertical scroll bar policy here we are stating that vertical scroll bar always that means uh, the j scroll pan which is accommodating the j editor pan will uh, allow scrolling the j editor pan vertically so the j editor pan grows big when we assign a document to it so if the document is big then the visible area of j editor pan is decided by this j scroll pan so to browse the other part of the document you can use vertical scroll bar so if we think the document will be bigger than the preferred size horizontally also then you can enable the horizontal scroll bar as well here i'm just enabling only the vertical scroll bar so after the scroll is ready scroll is ready in the sense the scroll knows which component to scroll why because we supplied that to the constructor we add the scroll to the content pan if you see we already made a call to get content pan so that's coming from jframe through jframe derivation it came to jframe demo this is the class which we created and we made a call to get content pan and we have con we have a reference uh, uh, for container and we named it as a control host so to the control host we are adding the scroll that means the frame now displays the uh, j scroll pan and j scroll pan uh, knows what to scroll that means j editor pan all right at this stage let me run it once so that you can understand so this is our j frame we retrieved the control host that means content pan so the content pan is this the entire client to the content pan we are adding the scroll so since we specified vertical scroll the scroll bar provides scrolling capability vertical scrolling capability for the j editor which it is accommodating all right now we will get the content of html and we will display that in the editor pan so here is our eclipse workspace and inside eclipse workspace we go to source this is where our jframe demo and main entry exist jframe demo.java so there we have html content so this html content will display the nested tables
and if I render it so this is the content HTML content we want to display in the editor pen so the document is in the same location where our program is there here we get the content to our test.html since it is in the same location we doesn't specify any path so here we are using a jframe demo dot class dot get resource and we pass the name of the html document so this will give back as the url and you can look at the signature here so this returns the url and we are storing that as a html page so to use the url object we are importing it from java.net package so once the url to the test.html is ready we make a call to set page and we pass the html reference here so it's asking to handle the exception now we will click on surround with the try catch so at this stage we can run and test it so now the editor pan is displaying the html content but here you are seeing the scroll bar is not in use because uh, there is nothing to scroll here now what we can do we can reduce the preferred size so that we will be the scrolling area will diminishes in height so this is width and this one is height right yes and if you see this is the size of our scroll I mean the scrolling area preferred size we defined and this scroll bar is displaying the JEditor pan since the HTML document is bigger than the scroll area it provides the vertical scroll bars come handy here if our HTML document is bigger in width wise also then just like here how we enabled the uh, a vertical scroll bar policy you have to enable the horizontal scrolling using the set horizontal scroll bar policy I just go for uh, horizontal scroll bar always so that will enable scrolling the horizontal scroll I mean the scrolling the document horizontally and if you see the preferred size make provides more room here so that you can add some other content or panel and you can provide your button controls uh, whatever you want that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye